This top bar is queenless, but it's honey bound as well. There's no room for the bees to even create a laying worker because there's no space for it. This colony is also queenless, but yesterday when I inspected it, it's one full box worth of frames. I uh, haven't created laying worker yet, so I'm going to use this box of bees, which is my little frames, and there's laying queen in there, there's some frames that have eggs, there's the center support frame that has stuff, and we're going to take from here, and we're going to put it into there, and there, and end up with lots of queens and two colonies that will survive. colony in this top bar is extended from there, all the way to there. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen frames. Seventeen. And there's lots and lots of drones. And so uh, we'll use that to raise queens with and start new colonies. I'm just separating the frames to see where the biggest co concentration of bees are. And see, that's what we have. But if you look, Lots and lots of drones. There's still girls, but lots of drones. This is the frame I'm going to put into the top bar. But you can see how there's eggs in those little cells. So they'll have what to use to create a new This frame. is the frame, one of the frames I'm going to put into this top bar. Zip tied in. And if you look, You'll see tiny eggs in each one. This Some is the egg. second frame. So this is the comb box. And so I'm taking all the frames and I'm putting them, zip tying them into other frames to take care of other bees, other colonies that have failed. Um, so the center is a center support just like a top bar and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and I'm going to use that for starting uh, these other colonies I'll be able to find a queen. Get it in the sun. Here, come on this side. Okay. Come on this side of you. Okay. Oh, stop it. Click stop. This is the center support from the 26 frame comb box. Uh, the colony built this all out. It's all free formed, just like a top bar hive. We'll be able to find the queen. It has lots of uh, cat brood, lots of eggs, larva, everything is in here. And we're going to use this to repair these other two colonies. You can't do this. So I'm just looking to see if I can find the queen. Uh, this particular type of frame isn't as prone to break as you would a regular top bar because they're not as tall. Uh, she must be in there. Should I get closer? No, that's fine. I see eggs and larvae on this outside edge. So this part is what I'm going to put into a frame and put into this other colony. Okay. So I just cut a section off of that center support, which again is a part of the 26 frame comb box. I'm now putting it into this little frame and just do your video stuff. Okay. Again. Okay. 
Ready? Okay, there's some larvae there, good. Let's zip tie him in. The trick is if you can do it with one hand, which I can. Okay, I got it. Show me how you do it. Okay. Now we put these two into the hive and we leave them and let them create a new queen. That colony is good. That's all we have to do to this one. Okay, there's the queen. We're gonna cage her. Now this is the top bar, uh, we have three frames that we added brood in, we haven't added a queen, uh, we reduced all of the frames down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. This is the follower board, they're not there, 
but a lot of these frames are just empty I'm using for food. So the bees are actually from here to that end and they're just caking that yeah. end with bees. Now uh, I've basically opened up this whole side here so that they can rob and steal as they want from inside and clean all this type of stuff off. Uh, we'll come back in three to five days and see how they've done on these three frames. This is the original so, yeah. one that I took all the uh, eggs and larvae out. Um, we have the queen over there that we're going to go put her into another colony. Mm -hmm. This one here I left a couple frames of uh, or por partial piece pieces of brood uh, with the bees that were still here to uh, see if they'll create queens off of that. That one now has two frames of eggs and larvae. So that one, this one, and that one are all set. This one will go somewhere else and we'll see 